Welcome back to Morning in America. Students at a high school in New Jersey, they're back in class this morning uh, with artificial intelligence top of mind. Yeah, this follows a scandal involving fake nude photos of some of those teen girls at this school. So, of course, parents and their kids are outraged. They feel violated, not just in New Jersey, but this is all over the country. And it's prompting calls for more oversight for the new technology. Stephanie Haynes joins us live. And, Stephanie, police are investigating this situation in New Jersey. What are they finding? Yeah, good morning. Police are investigating. We do not know at this point. They're not sharing how many people were allegedly targeted or how many people may have been allegedly involved. We don't know anything about how these photos may have been shared or to whom. And privacy laws, of course, prevent the district from sharing any details about if any students may have been disciplined. But what we can tell you this morning is that the parents and students whose photos were faked do not want this to happen to you. The New Jersey High School at front and center of a reported scandal involving fake nude photos of students is stoking fears around the country about artificial intelligence. Officials are now investigating pornographic images allegedly made using AI of an unknown number of female students. Dorota Mani's 14-year-old daughter was one of those allegedly targeted. She feels uncomfortable. She definitely feels uncomfortable in the school being, um, you know, walking the hallway, sitting in the lunchroom. Uh, with whomever was involved in this incident. Unfortunately, um, you know, she has been informed yesterday by the administration of Westfield High School when she verbalized how she feels, um, there's nothing they can do. That's their stand uh, on the situation. Um, I would say disappointing and I would say, you know, um, unacceptable at this point. Westfield Public Schools Superintendent released a statement saying all school districts are facing challenges with AI. The principal of the high school said they will continue to educate about responsible technology use. According to a recent report from Sensitivity AI, up to 95% of deepfake videos between 2018 and 2020 were primarily based on non-consensual pornography. Investigators say finding the creators of these fake images takes a lot of time and expertise, and the trauma for those victims can last a lifetime. It only takes them applying to one college, one job, one dating app for someone to Google them and potentially see that, and that will impact them the rest of their lives. And we have to start thinking about different sentences for juveniles who engage in this kind of behavior because in my opinion it can sometimes be just as damaging um, as you know some of the violent crimes that we see and not to mention the amount of students who may take their lives as a result of having to deal with this. That's why more and more advocates are calling for social media and search engine companies to intervene as soon as possible by flagging or blocking these images. Some say there's not much you can do to protect yourself except to be aware that seeing is no longer believing. Right now, if you see it, you can't believe it. By default, you should assume that it may be fake, especially if it's somebody you don't know or maybe even somebody you do know, but communicating in a new uh, in a new way, a new profile and a new platform. So the challenge is only getting bigger. And we'd say that currently for consumers, um, on the personal level, it's uh, near impossible for them to tell a great fake from a real image. And the flip side of this story is Rhoda Mani's daughter is creating a website to try to help connect alleged victims of AI with resources. She's really taking this situation into her own hands. We heard from her this morning that she has written a letter to President Biden uh, for better laws protecting children from the potential dangers of AI. And the other thing her mother says is that she's been getting a lot of support from the community. They are reaching out to her, texting her, are you okay, walking her home from school. So there is some goodness here of people really stepping up and making sure that this doesn't happen to others. Mark. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.